What's up trainers, Rickstar here. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an issue we know way too well if you've been experiencing the misery we call solo queue. So right off the start it looks like we have two players who are in a duo queue, they both have mics on and you're going to see in this match they try to communicate together. Uh, I'm playing Elder Goss right now and pretty much I'm just going to show you guys something here. So as everyone can see right now we're going to talk a little bit about team composition real quick. We got a speedster, a supporter, a defender, all around an attacker. Pretty good. But the other team, they have a lot of offensive pressure. We should be able to cut through really easy, but that Gudra's going to do a good job holding their all together. So in this video, you guys are going to see our Gengar is going to be designated jungler. But you guys are going to see, and I'm going to highlight how he does all the wrong things, and I do my best to carry as a support. So pretty much, you guys are just going to have to pay attention to this. All right, trainer. So we're gonna hop right into this. So you guys are gonna notice that I'm really gonna focus on heading my bottom path. Always stick to your designated lane in solo queue. Never deviate. Right now, I'm just trying to get my camps. Right now, I got a good lane partner so far. It looks like it's Glaceon. So I mean, that's really good. Glaceon is such a good Pokemon for DPS. But I'm just gonna focus on getting my levels right now. I'm gonna do my best to take that camp up there, the Audino. I usually like taking that out. There we go, there we go. I do secure it. I'll pop my uh, synthesis to get up there and I do die, but even though I fainted, I gained a lot of value in that. I think we take out another Pokemon right here. I think Glaceon, there we go. We take out Dratini. All right, it does look like Gengar's still clearing his jungle camps. He's a little slow on that. I'm not sure what they're collaborating with the uh, Blastoise and the Gengar, but I'm just going to focus on my lane right now. I'm just worried about what me and Glaceon are doing down here. I do evolve, I do select Leaf Tornado. So we're just kind of going around. We're just kind of baiting them right now, trying to look out and see who we can hit, who overextends. So we're just kind of peeking right now. I do throw a Leaf Tornado in the bush there, just to kind of bush check to see if anyone was there. If they are, perfect. If they're not, it's okay. I get it back in three seconds. So look at that. The Charging Charm, you guys can really see that damage kicking in, just because I'm constantly moving with Elder Goss, constantly charging it, constantly attacking. And we're just throwing a Leaf Tornado every time we get it. Every time we get it, boom, we launch it. And look at that. We end up taking another kill just right there. Almost two. But when you're playing these characters in this game, you gotta know how to play those characters. Like a lot of people, they'll pick Pokemon that they have less than 100 games with and they go straight into ranked right away. Usually if they're broken along the release Pokemon or something like that. But Elder Gods, I do know at the back of my hand. So I'm gonna look at levels real quick. Gengar is lagging behind compared to their jungler. Clearly Leafeon, or Glaceon down here rather, is almost a higher level than our jungler and he's not even evolved yet and he keeps feeding the enemy team as you guys can notice that's one thing you don't want to do as a jungler you don't want to get a lead or worse not have a lead and then faint because you're literally just pushing the opponents further and further out of the grasp of your victory so you guys can see like I mean, I'm just throwing leave tornadoes whenever I can I'm kind of blocking for Glaceon a little bit here there we go I do pick the curly off there we go in Glaceon versus uh, Dratini. I think Glaceon should be able to get it right here, but the Dirt Jungler does come for a perfect gank on bottom side, so the enemy team is up. And you see our jungler, he's lagging behind. He's only level seven, I'm level six. Look at that, level eight, Leafeon. Our jungler's not really doing anything. There he goes, he faints again. And, and listen guys, this video isn't so much at me picking on our jungler so much. It's more or less to be in the minus of knowing what to do when you designate that role. When you play jungle, you have to get your camps. You have to learn how to gank. It's literally one big fluid motion you have to make at all times. So even though I'm playing my support role, I'm just focusing on farming right now because it is so cute. I do want to be a certain level by Rayquaza. So that's kind of where my priorities are right now. Let's see what's going on bottom side. Looks like we're attempting Reggie. We still have level 7 uh, Gengar here and their Leafeon is level 9. Gengar does secure Reggie Ice. Which is good, but look, he's just going in right now. He should be focused on getting his evolution right now. That's the main thing. I do get 10 points in. He does score. Bottom breaks, and there we go. I throw my Leaf Tornado, boom. Just trying to put some offensive pressure on him. Slow that Leafy on down. We do pick up another KO. And look, notice how I'm constantly moving. I'm kind of kiting around. Boom. 
we're able to get three KOs. And look, look at my positioning. I'm going through their jungle just to pick off whatever camps that they do have. But their jungler is doing a good job rotating. That's where there's nothing here at the moment. But even though I'm just a little supporter, look how I just throw that leaf tornado as I'm coming in. I'm just being as offensive as possible. Whatever type of damage I can do, it's going to get done. There they go, leafy on ults. I mean, I faint, but look, that little bit of damage we do, we're able to pick off another KO or two. Look at that. And it looks like our team's trying to push the Regis. Not Regis, but Reggie Lecky inside the goal. I might as well call it a Rotom. But I'm doing it again. I'm just focusing. I know I should have my Unite by this point as any character. And I'm just going to focus on that since I see my team pushing top lane really good. But notice the Gengar again. I mean, he should be in the middle of the offense pressure right now. He's our carry. He should be able to do a lot of damage. And I'm just going to focus on farm. There's a lot of farm on the map. I'm just going to keep eating that up. I'm almost level 10 right now. I think I'm literally a level apart from my jungler right now. I think right now we should be equal levels. Which isn't good. If you're a jungler and you're the same level as your support, that's a big no-go. I'm level 10. He's level 10. The jungler's level 11. I'm just going to kind of focus up, up, up. Okay, there we go. Gengar's there. I'm always doing my last hitting really low. There's Gudra. I decide not to fight and I just kind of speed away. But I am acknowledging that it's there. So, boom. I let my team know where he is by throwing that leaf tornado and they do capitalize on the kill. There's a Dragonite. No one's there to fight Dragonite, but I am going to ult. There we go. And I'm just pretty much just trying to create a little bit of distance. Hopefully my team comes in and we capitalize. There we go. Dragonite dead. And there we go. We get Leafeon as well. There we go. So pretty much you guys can see, as playing the support, I'm literally going in there and doing my uh, ADC. And I just back out and look at that. Pikachu, Leaf Tornado. I'm trying to get away. Hit him with another basic attack. I'm just trying to put as much pressure on as I can. Leafeon or Glaceon even, I'm like a higher level then. And I'm just going to go and take this opportunity to go back to base, regain some health. I am keeping my own personal lead right now, 10 assists so far. So I'm always there. I'm trying to use my map awareness to my advantage to secure this victory. So I'm going to rotate through my jungles camps because he's not rotating as often as he should right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these respawn timers going up. That's the only reason I would ever take my jungler's farm if I notice that they're not going in there whatsoever. And I'll look at the map again. There we go. And I'm going to see if we can take this Pikachu out. I'm kind of backing around, backing around. I'm kind of backing off a little bit, give him a little vision. There goes Gardevoir. Boom. We should get another KO here. Leaf Tornado is almost done. Cotton Spore. And look at that. I'm just doing my best to make my team win this. Even Gudra, I saved just for last. Gudra's finally out. There we go. And I mean, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. So we do get Regilecki here. Usually when I get Regilecki, I get it and I just throw up a little retreat. Because usually I just want to keep that lead so far. They're level 10, I'm level 12. We, I mean, we're, we're gaining high levels right now, actually. So I'm going to do my best to eat up some of that mid farm. Try to get Glaceon up a little bit. Let Glaceon take most of that there. And let's see, we're in the lead. Look at that. And notice how the enemy team right now, they're all focused on Regice. Uh, top lane and like usually I try to ignore it, but look I'm trying to provide value in my team and I want to force Gardevoir to use its Unite move so I use mine there you go Gardevoir uses its Unite move so I know it's not going to have it back by Rayquaza and we do pick off the kill here so we get value in it wasting its move and us securing the extra KO there so we do have a Reggie spawn in bottom lane right now and I'm going to do my best to get the team to get it but we got blasters over there uh, Gengar is kind of doing his own thing still and I attempt to fight the Red Ice right now, and you see there's a little big fight going in jungle. Hopefully Glaceon helps me do it, but I notice Gudra's coming here. So Gudra coming here right now, notice what it's doing. It's just giving the team vision right now, and everyone's realizing, like, oh, maybe we should be bottom side right now. And I do secure it. Perfect. And there we go. I'm level 13. I decided to take this opportunity to go right back to base. I check levels again. So I'm the same level as their jungle on the enemy side. And this is where I feel a little bit nerfed right now. I'm literally playing support in a game where I need to be the carry, and our carry isn't carrying the weight. So all about positioning right there, I help take out two right there, and there we go, we take out three, and this is where it's going to get crazy. It's all about decision making, and watch this, watch this. Notice how I'm kind of peeking around, I want to get vision to my team. There we go, I'm throwing leaf tornadoes, and I'm kind of engaging real heavy right now. I do have my ult charging still. There's four dead, so we should be ripping right now. But two are back alive, and right now, see the team, they're not fully committed to the rip right now. Blastoise is kind of not really knowing what it should do. I do die of the Dragonite Unite move, but notice this, notice this. 
Everyone's in the pit, and literally you have Gardevoir on the outside, unopposed by my enemy team. And literally, they just take it so easy. Now, when it comes to Rayquaza fight, if you're ever a defender, and literally you have someone who has secure potential, such as Gardevoir, Venus, or whatever, even if you're like in their face to try to chase them a little bit, you're going to be able to provide value for your team. If Blasters was up there to stop, we would have been good, but you can tell as he just sits there and baits, he gave up a long time ago. And that's kind of like the nightmare of solo queue here. Like, you never really notice who's really into the game right now, who's not, or who's on a lose streak, or who's tilted. And I darn near did my best. I did probably 14 assists, and yeah, I'm just showing you guys reality. I mean, I'm a really competitive player. I do dabble into solo queue at times, but I'm just kind of showing you guys that, like, this is the real side. A lot of the uh, content creators out there right now, they just show you perfect games non-stop. And that's not the reality of it. Literally, I'm going to do my best here to break shield just to kind of like get some points in. But everyone just kind of dog piles on top of us and kind of... We, we, we lose the match, obviously. I mean, if our Gengar was more on point, we would have had a much, much, much better time. But, I mean, what can you do? But unfortunately, we do lose the match and... I'm going to toss up the scores right here. You guys can see right here, I did do 50k damage with Eldegoss. It's not uncommon with this Pokemon, but you can see how for our jungler, if anything, it's not his damage that made him lose the match or made us lose the match. It's his map awareness and everything else. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And, you know, hopefully you become a better jungler tomorrow. Just don't do what this Gengar is doing this match. Remember, map awareness is key. And I hope everyone has a good one. Peace out.